Bruh, look at all the raw materials we found in this cave. We can use everything in here to cyberize entire planets and civilizations to our liking. Oh, brother, who is Blood talking to? I'm tired of hearing his one-eyed freak's voice, dog. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, Starscream, bring that here. What'd you say, little bro? You trying to repeat those sentences one more time for me? You do not have the right to comment on me when all you are in this show is comedic relief, court jester. Shut that mouth up, Russ. I'ma roll you and your entire bloodline into packs. Megatron, you, you just gonna let him talk crazy to me like that? Megatron? No, no. Let Shockwave cook. Urgh! You called me a one-eyed freak earlier. I'm feeling the profound urge to make you share the same perception as me. It is only logical that I do so. No, 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 no. Chill out, man. Chill, 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 chill. I'm sorry, 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 bro. Chill, chill, chill. Um... Bro, this is who you guys want me to cover today? Good lord, you guys probably <laughs> already think Shockwave is a menace just based on that intro alone. But I'm looking through my script right now, and to be honest, I don't think you're all ready for what's to come in this video, man. I'm going to be covering just a small handful of all the atrocities this freak Shockwave has committed so far. Whether it be from TV shows or comics. Look, I'm, I'm going to be honest, dog. If I covered literally every single violation that this dude has committed in my style of videos and we'd be sitting here for like several hours which is why i'm probably gonna do a part two to this video sometime down the line so if you want to see that then you know the drill like the video if you vibe with it or dislike it if you don't and if you did end up vibing with the video then don't forget to subscribe and share with your homies man you know it, it helps everybody out oh hold on shameless plug i'm gonna make it quick though i started my very own long-awaited gaming channel on youtube so tap in i'll leave a link to it in the description somewhere also unrelated but go watch mr normal person's video on shockwave it's fire by the way is goaded you will not regret doing so and subscribe to him if you aren't already with that being said ladies and gentlemen it's time grab your snacks get your drinks sit down rest your feet up because it is about to get real in here all right gang you probably guessed it already but this man shockwave is a sadist let me explain and give you a couple of examples this freak this absolute abomination enjoys inflicting pain and t-wording other organisms all for the sake of science or for his own sick pleasure i say t-wording because i am not trying to get sniped by youtube <laughs> it's the same reason why i don't outright curse on my videos because youtube doesn't like that at all I'm, I'm just saying so from here on out whenever i say t-word i want you guys to imagine a word that begins with the letter t and rhymes with scorcher you feel me <laughs> anyway now that this out the way let's time travel back to the voiceover introduction y'all saw what happened already but shockwave hey, started a little bro and starscream and almost poked one of his eyes out bro was putting that pressure on him had my boy starscream pleading for his life it was crazy the fact that bro was willing to and quite literally did embarrass another decepticon like this is insane it just goes to show how cruel this character is but oh whoa whoa hold on but just watch we're just getting started shockwave caught multiple bodies under his belt I know, surprising news, right? But as of right now, I'm talking somewhere in the hundreds, so let's just go over a few instances of him smoking key characters from the series. In the IDW movie comics, Shockwave managed to absolutely smoke Knockout, Dune Runner, Jolt, and Optimus Prime's Bay Alita 1, bro! He literally spawned out of thin air and curb stomped her. Like, come on now, let's be for real here. Favorite Shockwave is a killing machine. Bro is literally built different. This Shockwave also had a hand in killing Chromia. <laughs> Get it? Also had a hand, like his entire arm is a giant cannon. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. In the Marvel comics, Shockwave smoked a countless amount of Autobots, bro. This man strung up bodies on top of bodies and was seen making even more later. This purple freak even little bro Megatron and made my guy beg for his life too. Just absolutely humiliating him. You know you're him when Megatron started bowing down to you and referred to you as his commander, bro. Oh my God. Put on his knees for you and everything. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to mention this earlier. Right after he was seen hanging all those Autobot bodies, this man literally chose to decapitate the Optimus Prime to harness the power of the Matrix of Leadership. Oh my god, somebody stop this man. Clearly, Megatron can't do it. Shockwave ended up smoking him in a 1v1, dumped bro's body in front of the Decepticon army, and told him that they would obey him and him alone. Shockwave is literally him, bro. I'm calling man's him way from now on, on God. Alright, now we gotta delve into some of this sicko's twisted lab experiments and T-word scenes. In Transformers Prime, this man decided to clone an extinct species of Cybertronian known as Predacons and wanted to use it to absolutely obliterate any Autobot nuisance he came across. He even succeeded in cloning the giant Predacon leader named Preda King, and let me tell you boy, he had Megatron pissing his pants bro, oh my god. I am not gonna lie to y'all, 
Predator King's entrance was tough, but attempting to clone an extinct species just to use them as your own personal war dogs? That's literally unethical, bro. Come on. Come on now. What, what are we doing here? Man, Shockwave even attended a T-word a bunch of Autobots, too. He took RC and Cliff Jumper prisoner and used a type of procedure on RC called the Cortical Psychic Patch, which basically allowed the mind of one Transformer to be viewed by the other. Sounds harmless, right? Until you see bro literally hold RC at gunpoint while slamming the patch in the back of her head. Oh my god. Bro even tried using it on Wheeljack later on in the series too. Somebody please take this man's medical license away from him like now. In the fall of Cybertron comics, Shockwave was seen T-wording the goat Grimlock by holding him up by all of his limbs. <laughs> in a freaky and clearly unethical lab experiment in an attempt to create a super soldier, Shockwave literally flayed Grimlock alive while shattering his mind so he'd be completely obedient to Shockwave's commands. Bro, black air forces aren't even enough for this man. Somebody get him a pair of black Tims immediately. The list just goes on and on, man. Bro experimented on it. Insecticons, threatened the T-word and smoked Bumblebee in Cyberverse, cloned more Predacons, harvested the energon of countless fellow Decepticons to fulfill his own needs. Jesus Christ, man. Just for these crimes alone, I have got to add plus 50 to the violation counter. Who's gonna stop him? Not me, that's for sure. I don't know about y'all, but I'm staying at least 2 trillion miles away from this freak, bro. I'm just saying. Oh, God. It just keeps going on with this dude. Good Lord, man. <sighs> We gotta talk about how this man Shockwave in the War for Cybertron Siege series wanted to tamper with the Allspark to convert literally every single Autobot into Decepticons. You know you're absolutely diabolical when even Megatron starts looking at you crazy, bro. I'm just saying. Shockwave in the IDW comics made Wilt Chamberlain numbers with these violations, bro. The list of pure violations this man's committed in this arc is literally asinine it is outrageous saying the entirety of idw is shockwave's fault is a complete understatement <laughs> i'm gonna give you guys the spark nose version on what this dude has done around six million years ago shockwave was a student who later became a key senator in cybertron's history not only did bro look completely different than a shockwave we're used to ooh, hold on hold on this look at his won't last for long though we'll get there don't worry he had a curious mind though he would often study ancient cybertron look into a prophecy known as dark cybertron <laughs> Look it up, I'm not explaining it here, it is a lot. And would conduct innocent scientific experiments in his spare time. At this time, Bro is an emotional guy who'd regularly express himself and was often subjected to outbursts. A tragic set of events that occurred that would lead to Shockwave being subjected to shadow play and Imperata, which are operations that would completely alter personalities and bodies of victims and turn them into emotionless machines, usually as a form of punishment. Now, freed from emotion, our classic guy Shockwave would instead become obsessed with the idea of logic. Alright, now that that's over with, we've got to talk about all the violations now. In the Regenesis plot, Shockwave discovered the different effects of ores distilled from Energon had on different planets with the majority granting godlike powers. Listen closely, I'm about to explain the most important ores and what exactly these things can do. Or 1 gives the ability to travel through time. Or 2 drain the life of everything around it. Or 6 can suck a planet completely drive heat energy. Or 7 had weird transmutation powers. Or 8 was highly explosive and made people insane. Or 13 basically allowed Cybertronians to turn Super Saiyan. And lastly, or 14 basically turned Transformers into zombies. Shockwave wanted to achieve his life goal of gathering and combining all the ores by any means necessary, even if it took him to resurrect a giant zombie Robo Titan carrying one of the ores to bring it to Sh <laughs> Cybertron. The zombie Titan would unleash a death plague that infected everything in the immediate vicinity. Shockwave wanted to combine all the ores together to give him the ability to control all life and death, as well as potential energy of all matter and being able to bend the fabric of time to his will. He wanted all of reality just so he'd be able to give Cybertron a limitless energy source. I am literally speechless, bro. Violation counter, do your thing, man. Oh, and Shockwave casually got sent back in time. Smokewood is essentially a god, stole his clout and identity, and basically rewrote all of Cybertronian history. Yeah, this, this, is, this is fine. This is all just a casual Sunday morning from Violation Counter, do your thing yet again. Last, but certainly not least, we have got to talk about the biggest violation of them all. Yeah, bro. I'm talking even worse than the reality crushing, time traveling plot some earlier. This man Shockwave hates women. <laughs> Sounds crazy, right? You, you don't believe me? Just, just watch this. Just watch this. Bruh, I was trying to browse on the hub. Who was out there shooting stuff right now? Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who, who is that? That a female Autobot on my property? Illogical. 
I'm about to settle this. Let me get out there for real, for real. So a woman finally steps onto these premises. What you want? My OnlyFans subscription or something? What, bro? Yo, get your goofy. What is you talking about, bro? You're going to need that OnlyFans money to buy yourself some repairs after I'm done packing you up, thought. Like, oh my god. This dude, Shockwave, is an incel, bro. He is a virgin. Somebody get him some baddies immediately. I'm just saying. Wow. What a video this was. Shockwave is truly worse than Satan. <laughs> but anyway, you made it to the end of the video. I'm going to be making a video on Soundwave from Transformers Prime next. So if you want to see that one, then stick around and subscribe. Random thought, but I'm starting to low-key hate asking for people to like and subscribe to my videos, man. I'd be feeling like a sellout, but it's like the only way how this channel is going to grow. So the show must go on, I guess. I'll probably stop asking like sometime in the future because, uh, you know... <laughs> I, I don't like doing it, but it is what it is. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, y'all. I, I love every single one of you guys, man. Just make sure you remember to eat, stay hydrated, take care of yourselves, and always, always be kind to everyone. Oh, by the way, if I see you starting arguments or being weird and disrespectful in my comment section, then you will get sniped by me, bro. I'm just saying, you a lot of weirdos out there that isn't getting in my videos. I don't like that. But anyway, I'm out of here, y'all. I'll see you guys in a soundwave video. Peace out.